morning, everybody. Woke up full of excitement for this new day. We got all of the main part of this living room textured. The guys worked extra time yesterday and uh, bought them a little beer for their overtime. <laughs> I know that's what they wanted and I just appreciate them. So, uh, Mom, Mark, and Miller, y'all hanging around and June for hanging around for a while too and helping make this happen yesterday, even for a little after normal work time. I deeply appreciate you. And uh, Kat finally hanging on out and doing this because I was starting to think it wasn't going to happen. But we got it all textured, and right now, while it's still taped off, while it's all taped up, we'll run trial over this again knock all these little bumps off all these little bumps just they'll pop right off and uh we'll go through trial it and smooth it and primer it and paint it while the tape's all still in place and man when we peel it we'll be ready to clean up in here and i can technically move some furniture in even though the house is not a hundred percent complete I could technically move some furniture in, and the reason why we would want to do that is because uh, in just less than, maybe about a week and a half from this date right now, we're going to be returning back to Texas for a little while, and we want to clear that garage out down there and not have to deal with that when we return back after this trip. So we want to get our couches brought up here get our tv and tv stand brought up here um, probably the kitchen cabinets and stuff brought up here um, all that stuff that's in the way in the garage so when we return this time the garage will just be a garage again it'll no longer be an apartment but it served us well it absolutely served us well Yeah, it's real exciting to finally see this part right here uh, get ready to paint. And we still have some texturing we'll have to do upstairs, but I'm gonna do that this next trip. Uh, that's gonna be pretty easy. It's not gonna be as hard to tape off as all this with this stone and all. And I'm still gonna need to do the foyer right up in here, but got a good plan for that, that it won't be too difficult when we return. And um, I only have to mask off just a certain area. But I'll do all that finish work on our return trip of doing that fine detail that's just gonna make this house nicer and nicer. early in the morning here I'm enjoying right now just seeing the fruits of our labor from yesterday and I tell you what this morning too just to watch the Sun rise here from the bedroom and just watching the water and the day get started too those little things are just priceless in here now so what we need to do now is that we need to clean all the grout lines really good get anything that was missed kind of clean it up and uh, we need to go through here and grout it and as soon as we grout it I can put the toilet I can put the shower fixture and at least have the shower and the toilet part going now we do not have the vanity yet for over here and for the sink and all um, I just cannot find what I want. I'm probably going to have to have it built. So, day is time that the old roof 
It's been here temporary and serving us good for a long while. It's hosted many birthdays, many parties while we've been building this house. Many things that's happened underneath there. Uh, Zumba, you know, all kinds of stuff that's went on. Just lots of good foods, everything. But it's in bad shape. It's usefulness. Um, it's... It's gone and it's a danger if a typhoon comes because that is loose debris that'll fly right into our house. So getting the final tiles up in here. July, go from there. You're gonna get that in your eyes. Well, we're working on finishing up the last little bit of the tile up here. Um, we put in this brown trim. We need to wipe it off better again. We need to wipe that sponge, that brown trim again here in a little bit. But uh, luckily, I had bought this brown PVC edging. And we're using a piece there. We got a piece of tile holding it up while that mortar sets. And we're about to make a piece of bamboo to go across from there to the other wall to hold that piece of trim there. You see it's kind of sticking out right now. Hold it in place until the mortar sets. And then after it sets, we'll come back and just cut those off. We got one here we need to trim off as well. But uh, we're getting close, getting very close. Maybe you can set it on top of that wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You, know, you, you can put it, put it on the top. Just try your luck. There you go. Yeah, that should work like that. It'll be all right. The tile's still straight there everywhere. Now. Get a little bit of that wet again and pack it in the top around around that so that trim right around that brown trim pack a little bit in around that top so it it sticks all around that brown little plastic pvc there now push some in right in the pvc right right down in there so that it'll stick all right get, get in that sponge so he can wipe that wall off up there 